Um, hi, my name is Chris, and while I am running a tournament, I just thought I would, um, if you were ever thinking about uh, learning the game of cribbage, which is a card game that I learned when I was about 13, uh, while I'm finishing up this tournament, I was wondering if any of you um, would be interested in learning how to play it. Um, I know that a lot of people know of the game, but they don't really they don't really know how to play it. So that's why I'm here today. Um, excuse me if I'm if I'm not really talking at this point because I'm trying to finish up this tournament as quick as I can. Uh, Susie defeats June. Uh, so let's just make sure I have everything correct. Yep, and then let me go into their game, Vader and Dodge. Let's go in there, Welcome. and let's run that. So while we're waiting for them to finish, I'm just trying to get used to these, uh, to, to Google Hangout. Let's see. Cribbage is a game um, that is for two players, or two to three, actually. You can play up to six players with cribbage, um, but it's mainly designed for two players. Um, the way th the thing about cribbage is it's simple math. If you know how to count to fifteen, if you know what uh, how to count to thirty-one, and if you know what your runs and your pairs and your three of kinds look like, um, you should be good to go. Um, what happens during a game is you get six cards dealt to you, um, and then you, out of those six cards, you try to keep the best four cards um, that will score you the most points during a couple phases during the game. Um, the two cards that you will be throwing away will go to the dealer. The dealer will get something that's called the crib, which is basically an extra hand that the, uh, the dealer will count at the end of the hand. Um, so after everybody has gotten their six cards, let's just assume it's a two-player game, everybody gets their six cards, you decide which four you want to keep. So you're looking for 15s, you're looking for runs, you're looking for pairs, you're looking for three of a kind, and so on and so forth, flushes and things like that. So after you decide which two, which four you want to keep, you discard the other two to the opponents, to the to the crib, and then what will happen is um, then the non-dealer will start by placing a card. Um, aces are worth one. Ten, uh, everything up to nine is their face value. And then tens and face cards are worth ten. So what will happen is during, during the play phase, um, the non-dealer will start, and they will lay down a card. Let's say they lay down a three. So they say three. Then it goes to the dealer, and then they place a card um, down, um, increasing the table 
I'll just say it, the table value of what the count is right now. So if they laid a 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, so the table count would be 8. And you keep going back and forth, and during, during this phase of, of the play, um, you can score points by making exactly 15, you can score by placing runs in sequence, you can score points by making pairs, three of a kind, and so on. Um, after, let's say, the round continues and the table count is at, like, I don't know, 16, 20, and then somebody plays down another 10, so the table count would be at 26. Now, the next player, whosever turn it is, to make 31, they would need a 5 or less. Um, if they get, they have, let's say, a 5, they would, they would place the 5 down on their turn, and they would say 31. If you make 31 um, exactly, just like 15, you get 2 points. Um, if for some reason they don't have any available cards, they say go. And let me let me uh, change this here. So let's see. Vader defeats Dodge. Let's just advance this really quick. So during, like, uh, where was I? During the play, um, if for some reason you cannot get the table count any higher, so if the table count was at 25, or no, 26, let's just say 26, and you're the next one to play, um, and you don't have a 5 or less, you say go. So that lets the, the, ne the player that goes right after you it just says, I don't have anything to make it go 31. Uh, if you say go, you basically pass for that turn. Um, so then the play, the dealer would either, they would either say go, or they would play a valuable card. So that would be one, an ace, two, three, four, five. Um, if, they, if they do not say go, the last player to play a valuable card uh, we'll get a point that's uh, called a go, or uh, yeah, a go, and that would score you one point. And then who, whoever scored the last point gets the point and goes forward on the peg uh, board. And then the the next player would lay down a card, and then that process will continue up to 31, st still trying to make pairs, runs, um, three of a kinds, and so on. Um, this process continues until everybody has played down all four of their cards. Um, and then you actually open up your hands again, uh, starting with the non-dealer. And then you basically, you, you score combinations again. You still look for 15. You still look for 30. Uh, no, you do not look for, for 31. You look for 15s. Any combinations of 15s, like 10, 4, and ace, or 10 and 5 is the most common. Um, any combination of 15 in your hand, you can only use one card one time. So you can't, unless you have um, like a duplicate of a certain number that would actually help you make 15. So the non-dealer would count their hand first. And then the, the, the dealer would do the same thing, announcing... Uh, 15 for 2, 15 for 4, and then like a run for 3. So you would count all those up, and then you would take that much on the pegboard. Um, 
after the dealer has counted their hand, the dealer would get an extra hand, which is called the crib, the two cards that each player had thrown out um, at the start of the hand. Um, you know, so the dealer gets um, that second set of cards. Uh, there's one other card that is used during the whole process, which is called the cut card, which is a fifth card that everybody gets to use, um, which I didn't touch on earlier, but um, after you do your six cards, the non-dealer will cut the deck and turn over wherever that cut is. Um, and then that is just placed on top of the deck. Um, that cut card is only used for a couple of things. It's not used during the play at all, entirely, but it's only used um, either if it's a jack the de if, if a jack is cut, the dealer will get an automatic two points on the board. Um, during the play, it does nothing. But during, but during the counting phase, after you've played all your cards and you've made all your points as you go on, um, everybody gets to use that cut card as a part of their hand. So an entire crib cribbage hand consists of five cards and no more than five cards. After everybody, um, after everybody has, you know, laid down all their cards as as they play, and as they um, count their hands at the very end, um, the deal just rotates the next player, doing the same process. So the the non dealer would become the dealer, and then they would, you know, deal out six cards. Everybody would discard two cards to the new dealer's crib, and this process continues. Now let's see who showed up here. Um, I know a lot of people personally, I think they think cribbage is a little bit difficult because there's a lot of ways to score points, and there's a lot of situations where you would score points, and that, that is also true. But, um, like I said at the beginning, it's a simple game for math, and it's wonderful for kids. Um, it helps them teach counting, and it helps them teach uh, counting and math. And, that, that, and I struggled with math um, growing up. So that actually, playing cribbage throughout the years, and I'm only 23, playing cribbage since I was 13 has actually helped me with my math skills. I'm still not the, the best at it. Um, but it's a great tool for teachers and for people that just want to brush up on their basic math skills. Um, it's just it's just simple addition, and um, one I think once you get the hang of the scoring mechanisms, and you know what combinations give you how many points, which I'm not really going to get into. I don't really want to bore you too much, uh, but once you get into understanding how the game flows and how the game works, um, then you could go into strategies and um, and such as like keeping cards for pegging, which pegging simply means during when you have your four cards and you try to make combinations as you lay down your cards, you will you will eventually score points on the board depending on what the state of the table count is. And that in a nutshell itself is cribbage. Um, I'm not sure how long I want to do this, light, this uh, Google Hangout, but um, I'm playing on a cribbage website that I actually host tournaments on right now uh, while we're talking. Um, so if you really want to, you can sign up. It's totally free. Um, you you can pay for you can pay to play here, but it's not it's not mandatory. Um, you can get in tournaments. Um, there's league involved in here and um, just different things. It's a very family-friendly website to play on. Um, I found this by I found this website mis by mistake, and I've been here for four years, and I don't think I'm ever going to leave. So, 
while we're just on the live stream here, um, if you really want to learn how to play cribbage, uh, just go to www.ecribbage.com and um, on the website you just make an account and once you're there, um, you know, there are tons and tons of players um, worldwide that come and play here that are so friendly and so nice that um, it's probably the best, for me, it's the best place to play cribbage online. I've played in different sites and I've played, you know, anywhere, really. And this is the best place to play. Um, so, I think I'm just talking to myself because there's only one viewer, but that's okay. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get more people. Because um, I'm just waiting for games to finish here. Right now, the tournament that I'm running is called Baseball Cribbage, which, um, if you know anything about cribbage or you've played cribbage before, Baseball Cribbage is where you play traditional cribbage um, as a basis, but um, you score points like you normally would. You count your hands like you normally would, uh, but you have dice to deal with, and then you have a board that, depending on where you land, Depending on how much you score and depending on where you land on the board, it tells you what to do. Um, and if you really think about it, it's just like baseball. You have three outs. Uh, you hold the crib for um, as long as you have. As long as you have the crib, you're going to get the crib. Uh, Susie defeats Dusty. <sighs> Yay, we got the last one here. Um, let me just update this on my sheet here. We had a viewer and we lost him. Um, So now we're just waiting for some of the games to finish. So like I said, baseball is just a one of the variations that you can play on the site. Um, we also have um, toss five scrimmage, which is if you have a five in your hand, you must throw it to the crib no matter what. So if you have one five, you have to throw at least that one five and another card. If you have two fives, you have to throw you have to throw both. No matter whose crib it is, you have to throw all fives to the crib. Um, I'm actually gonna pull up a list of the variations that we have on the site. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it would be easier to explain. Um, Let's see. So, let me make sure I'm going to the right spot. I feel like I lost myself here. There it is. I'm look I was looking for the the uh the live stream box here. So on ecribbage.com we have several variations. We have traditional, we have KC, which is a mix between uh, 
Scrabble and Cribbage, uh, which is very interesting. Um, it, it's a it's a it's a large crowd pleaser at the site. Uh, Crash Cribbage, which is the name implies crashing. So the the game is played just like traditional, but in Crash you play on a figure eight board, and if you hit your opponent's front peg, they go flying backwards a number of holes. Um, and if you hit the front peg, they go flying forward a number of holes. Um, cross cribbage, which is basically a 5x5 five five grid. One player is playing uh, horizontally, and the other player is playing vertically, uh, not vertically, horizontally and up and down. So, I think that's right. So, one is going across and one is going down. And you still score points. Um, as you would in cribbage, baseball cribbage, which I kind of already explained, um, which I'm playing, which I'm hosting a tournament right now. Um, jokers, cribbage with jokers, is basically traditional with jokers thrown in. So you can make a joker any card you want. Uh, you can either play with two jokers in the deck or four jokers. The game still plays to 121, like in traditional cribbage, um, but the game uh, can be either really fast, depending on how big the scores are, um, or really slow, depending on if they if players have a lot of jokers in their hands. Lowball cribbage, which is um, lowball, um, its name implies getting the le uh, if you get to 121 first, you actually lose. So you want to, in low ball, you want to give all your possible points to your opponent if you can, uh, and try not to have any car any cards that score your points in your hand or your crib. So it's a big battle between. Uh, when and what cards to throw out, depending on whose deal it is and who has the crib. Um, again, if you get 121 points first in low ball, you lose. Um, back 10. Um, I prefer I prefer back 10. Um, very close to toss fives, but back 10 is a simple, traditional game with. Uh, the rule of the a couple of different rules. If you score zero, if you score a zero points in either your hand or your crib or both, you have to go back ten points. Um, this can be very frustrating. Uh, I've seen it happen. I've been in a situation where I've had like 115 points, so I only needed like six points to win. And I had nothing in my crib, but I had points in my hand. So I counted my hand first, and let's say I just had four. So I was so close to winning with 120, but because of having nothing in my crib, I had to go back 10 points. So I like that because that shows the skill of the actual players playing back 10. And it shows you um, luck, uh, how much luck, depending on um, what you're hoping your opponent will throw to your crib. Uh, toss fives I already touched on a little bit. Uh, now, manual count cribbage, um, it sounds like it is. You manually count your hand. And, you know, that might sound weird. Um, but here on the site, when you play just traditional cribbage or anything that is not manual count cribbage, the computer will count your hands for you. You just have to make the decisions, click on the cards you want to discard, and discard them. Um, but on the on ecribbage.com, whenever you play traditional, back 10, any of those other ones, the computer will count your your hand properly for you. Uh, but in manual count, you have to do like you do in a live game or in a live tournament while you're playing against other players. You have to manually count 
um, all your 15s, all your runs, everything. The only thing that they don't count for you is a go. The go is automatic. Let me just um, advance these brackets here really quick. Susie defeats 9-9. Okay, Vader should be playing Susie. One, one. There we go. They're all in their games now. Um... So I'm just waiting for them to finish, and then I can turn. To, I can close this tournament, and then I'll have more time to concentrate. Um, so I touched on manual count. It's just basically what you would normally do. You would sit there and you would actually physically count the cards, and you would have to physically count your score at the end of the hand. Um, That's all that we have really for um, variations. Um, I mean, we also have something that's called muggum, Muggins, uh, which is a very ruthless way to play the game. I don't really play it that much, but the the main rule is if you miss any points, it's just like it's just like manual. If you miss counting your hand correctly, your opponents your opponent or opponents will get the points that you missed. Uh, not a lot of players play that way, but some do if you're really cutthroat. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. Um, what am I looking for here? As that is working, I just want to see what I can do on this uh, Google Hangout here because this is my first time. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, so that's that. Don't really know what that does. Let's see if I can screen share my tournament uh, while it's going. So let's see what I can do with that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I can do here. There we go. So let's just see if you can see if I'm typing anything, if I can screen share this correctly. So you can see uh, my username to this website is uh, kingplayer14. So if you're interested in learning how to play or meeting me um, just to help you learn 
or play against me. Um, I'm here most of the time. Um, I do have a life, so I'm not on here 100% of the time. But um, whenever I have a chance, I get on, I play a couple of games, and then I go about my business. So I thought this would be um, better to see than my face here. Ah, uh, we have a tournament coming up in a little while here. You can't really see it, um, but what I'm working with is a tr uh, a tournament bracket, which just disappeared on me. But I am working with a tournament bracket, which shows me uh, which players should be playing their prospective opponents. Um, but for some reason, you're just seeing the main lobby in the tournament lounge. But that's fine. You don't need to see everything I'm doing. Um, as you can see, we're in the... I'll just tell you where we're at. We're in the finals, so these are the final two games. So once they finish, I will advance the winner in the Golden Silver match, which is Susie versus uh, Vader. So once they finish, I will advance them on the final line on my bracket and, um, and then award um, gold, silver, bronze, and uh, honorable mention accordingly. Um, and there is that final ding. Let's see what the outcome is. Susie defeats Vader. So I'm going to advance them on here like this. So I get prompts while I'm doing this. Susie defeats Vader. So I can close the brackets. And then what I can do is I have a cheat sheet with me. I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so Susie will get gold, and can you answer? Can you answer that for me, please? Well, yeah, he's here. He's just, he hasn't answered because he's closed down his cribbage game. He's just closing his cribbage game. Yeah. Just us. I mean, there's nobody else. There's nobody else here. Just Chris and I. Yeah. Let's see. What kind of sound do you want, Chris? Uh, pasta sound is fine. Pasta sound or macaroni and cheese? Pasta. Macaroni salad or, or, or uh, macaroni or uh, pasta salad? Pasta salad. Chris says pasta salad. Pasta salad? Okay. Do you have any specific ones, Kathy? Nope. Nope. Chicken will taste good. Okay. What do you want to drink? I'll have some cups ready. What you got? Um, as far as pop, we got Mountain Dew and orange and root beer. 
And then I can make a fresh batch of tea or water. So let me just finish here. Nine nine defeats Dodge. So let me just make sure. So I'm just awarding the final ones here. Um, and of course, some people just decide to leave whenever they want. So Susie, just to double check, has gold. Vader has silver. And Chirrup99 should have bronze, which they do, and Dodge should have HM, which I already awarded. Um, So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting on the wall that we have here. Who the winners are and what the tournament was. And I know people are in here, but um, I really can't answer them at this point. Do that. Do that. Close this.
So as you can see, um, tournaments usually will take about, I don't know, two hours um, at most, uh, depending on what the whole, if people get booted or if, you know, certain things happen. So I'm just, right now, I'm just making sure that I awarded everything, which I did. I made a post on the wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it down. Nobody timed out, so I don't have to give any strikes. So, uh, whoops, I didn't want to click there. Okay, did I? I don't remember what I did. So let me let me just do this again. Let me switch lounges really quick. I was in a lounge, so if this switches names, I turned. I okay, so I brought that down already. So let's just make sure. Okay, so my tournament is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing this screen right now and um, that is actually that wasn't the full tournament I had about I don't know 25 players and so depending on the number of players depend you know it just depends on how long that's gonna take if you want what I can do is I can play a really quick game and show you um, just how a game will run, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play a quick game with somebody in the um, in the castle, and I'm going to go to the castle, and I am going to just pick here. I'll just share my screen again. So shit. Um, hi, I'm, I'm glad that you came and you're watching. Uh, but if you just go to www.ecribbage.com, um, that way, I don't know exactly where to type um, in here. Uh, questions, answering questions. I am sorry if I don't know how to answer your question in the chat, but that is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so I want to select answer this question. Selecting question, please wait. I don't know how to answer that from there, so let me see. Are you here? Let's see. Are you I'll see if you answer. I apologize. I am totally new at this, so I'm not 100% sure on what I'm doing or what I'm not doing correctly. Um, but if you just go to www.ecribbage.com, uh, just go ahead and sign up. It's really easy. It's free. Um, once you sign up, you can play cribbage. 
Uh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, I am sorry if I don't know how to answer this correctly. Answered questions. Um, did you go, have you signed up yet? I don't know what you've already done or what you haven't done. Uh, answered questions. If you could just ask this question again so I know where to find it. Answer this question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how to run this too well, so I am sorry for the inconvenience. I'm just doing a couple of different things at the same time here. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not doing the best of jobs, but uh, hopefully with practice this will get easier for me. So what I'm just going to do um, is I'm going to go to there it is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my screen for this time being and I'll show you what the actual home page looks like, first of all. And what I'll do is I'll actually sign out and actually just walk you through uh, what you have to do. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I am terrible at these Google Hangout things. So once you click on, or once you type in www.ecurbage.com, this will be the front page. And what you'll just do uh, is quite simple. Uh, you'll just go to, not that, let's see. We're getting all turned around here. Is you'll go to check, uh, click here to log in. So you would click that. Um, I'm already signed in. Um, so what I have to do, um, I'll sign out and actually show you uh, what the actual process is. Um, so after you say click here to log in, you'll you'll see these two fields pop up. So you would just enter your screen name, whichever you decided to use, and then you would use your password, as you normally would, depending on whatever your password is. Uh, so you enter those two fields, and down here, if for some reason you don't have an account, this is where you would actually go to actually create one. Um, I won't walk I won't walk you through that today, um, but eventually I will if I get more popularity with doing this because I always wanted to sh actually stream me playing Krimmage because um, I've, I've always liked showing people the game. So you just click log in and then this will show you a couple of different things. Um, at the top here uh, it just says welcome and everybody well, everybody at eCrimmage has a ranking. 
and ranking really doesn't matter. It just tells you, you know, your um, how well you're doing and how bad you're doing, but it's not really a big deal. So it'll, for me, it says welcome Night King player uh, 14, and then we've had some issues um, in the past. So it just says that we're now secure. We had some issues earlier, but now we're fixed. Um, down here is where if you like the site enough, after you sign up, you have 30 days, um, a, tr a trial period, a trial pro period. Um, after those 30 days, um, you can actually pay to actually play on the site. It's not mandatory to do so, but the biggest perk I find with making yourself pro is private messaging. Um, private messaging, if you don't know what that is, it's just a private message between you and another player. Um, so after those 30 days are gone, you cannot, you can receive private messages from other players, but you cannot like respond. So that is the biggest pull for me to become a pro member. And because I'm a tournament director, I think I have to have a, um, I think I have to um, have a pro membership to be a TD. Um, couple of buttons after that. You have, we have uh, tournaments that have um, prizes associated with them during, you know, cancer awareness and, di and, and different organizations that we work for, or not work for, but we work together with um, different organizations. Um, and then, you know, there's, there's just a ton of um, different buttons on the site. Um, you can get a pro for a, a friend. You can edit your information from the website. Um, the tournament schedule that just shows you what day and what format is being done on those days. Uh, we also have league, which is basically you play cribbage on a team of three or four people, and you play for um, wins and losses. It's quite fun. Um, I'm right in the middle of a league right now, so um, maybe I'll show you some league play too. Um, and then you can email them if you have any trouble. Um, tournament results. And then the eCribbage team, which is like the head. You know, it just gives you a hierarchy and a, and a flow chart of who is in charge of whom and what is, you know, who is in charge of what and who is in charge of whom. So that is basically what's up here. Um, you can like us on Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook page for eCribbage. Uh, down here, and I'll, and I'll uh, just explain this really quick. This just shows you, if you have a pro membership, how long you have until it expires. Um, the least you can do is do a month at a time, which is like $5 a month or something like that. But I'm paying for a year, which is only $34 or $35, which is not bad considering. So it just depends on how much you're willing to, how much you're willing to budget uh, to play on the site. And like I said, being a pro membership is not, being a pro is not needed to play here. Uh, but that's just, that's just an option that you might have. So after you see the home page, you can click sign in. And you have to go through the process of however your um, computer deals with Java. You have to have Java downloaded and installed. So once you have it installed um, and it runs smoothly, um, you get a couple of prompts. Um, if if you go into launch one, which I did, it, we have what's called a bulletin, which basically shows us, um, just tells us a little bit of what's been changed or what's been added to the site. I'm sorry, this is taking longer than I thought. Like right here. Um, it just shows you a little bit of update and when it was updated. So you can look at that. You can get out of it really quick. Um, so let's just go ahead and this will be the last thing I do before I close the, uh, the hangout here. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to start a game and here is where you can set up what you want to do. You can do 
traditional. You can do any of the uh, previous variations that I mentioned earlier. But I'm just going to do traditional. Um, this is what the castle looks like. Uh, the castle is one of the two social lounges that we have. Um, so this middle section here, oh, let's see. So somebody wanted to join my game. So I have three options, but I'm going to accept. Um, sorry. So this, this is what a typical game screen will look like. So when you start the game, you have to draw for the crib. The lowest card will get the crib, so I have the crib for this hand. So as I was saying in the short explanation of cribbage, you try to keep 15s, you try to keep uh, pairs, runs, you know, if you know those kind of different combinations, you try, you will score points. So everybody will discard two cards, so now we're down to four, and we cut a three. Now that three will not be used until we count hands. So I have 23. He has nothing that will add to that. We'll make it closer to 31, but I do. So 30. Since I was the last one that played a valuable, val uh, usable card, I will get one point. That's called a go. So now using that 3 that was cut, everybody will count their hands. And because I'm the dealer, I will get to count a second hand. So, and then the process just repeats. The game ends once somebody reaches 121 points. So again, if you look at this hand, I mean, I have a couple of options, but it's my opponent's crib, so I don't want to throw cards to his crib. So then I cut the deck. That actually really helps me out a lot, because fives and cribbage are really... Um, really nice. Um, I'm not going to try and explain everything and how you get points. I just want you to see how a game flows. So I made 31 exactly, so I will get two points. I made 15, so I will get two points. Yeah, that was a nice hand for him. Or, yeah, it's a, it's a guy. So it's my crib. I think I'm going to throw those two that I selected. And I don't think I'm sharing the right screen. Let me actually share the correct screen first. That would be quite important. There we go. I got the right screen now. So now you can see the game in progress. Hey, Carolyn. So I really didn't have a lot to work with on that one. Ouch. That was not necessary. Um, with it being my crib, I think I'm going to throw those. Because either way, I'm going to have four points.
So this cribbage is just a huge race. I mean, sometimes you'll get really good cards, and then sometimes you'll get crap. It's just like any card game. There's luck and skill involved. Shower in there? I've never seen it. I mean, I just look at it. It's white. It's like there's white fill all over it. Oh, well, they had to add some extra stuff to the water. Oh, my God. Get out of the water. I know. But it was nasty. This was like, and you can't go back. It's not a backup. You just itch, 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 itch. Seriously? You know what? Because it's my crib, I know I don't have a lot of points in my hand, but hopefully a jack will be cut. Or another king or another queen. Any face card would be nice. Any face card or ten point card would be nice. Well, that didn't work out as well as I thought. Ooh, that's good. That's going to be a good cut for me. Oh, that was lucky. Yep. So that was just a uh, a quick look into the game of cribbage. Um, I have to run here because lunch is here, and lunch and food are very important. So um, I know I didn't get a lot of people today, but that is okay because I'm totally new at this. Um, so I will possibly do this again tomorrow or in a couple of days. So I hope for the one person that showed up, I hope I was able to help you uh, understand a little bit more. But I will, I will, uh, I will do this again some sometime soon. See you guys.